Hi, thank you for stopping by. Uh, today's video is going to be a uh, basically a chat or a review over some products that I picked up today at the my local Dollar Tree. So this segment's called uh, my Dollar Tree wig and makeup accessory haul. Uh, let me start by saying you can find some things at your Dollar Tree um, that you can work with your your wigs and of course the makeup that I found there too today. Um, let me start by uh, saying first of all a, a big thank you to all the comments to the people to the women that uh, commented on my uh, video about whether I should wear eyeliner or not and I can post that here and um, so please thank you to Elena, Liz, Child of Christ, Moose Up Gal, Shelly, Jean, Ruth and PMD. Um, thank you very much for reaching out and, and giving me your lovely comments about wearing eyeliner and I'm um, wearing eyeliner. Um, so uh, thank you for that. And while, while I'm talking about subscribers, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Um, I am generally up here on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, at least Wednesdays and Fridays. I'm working Mondays into the, my schedule to post some kind of content um, for, to review or to chat or to show you what I've, what I've come up with. Um, so let me just dig right into the stuff that I that I purchased. Uh, before that, I, I am wearing uh, the Wig Company's Catwalk and color F F thirty three dash two sixty three or the color uh, <clears throat> excuse me Golden Auburn Blonde. She has a fuller wig, a curly wig. Um, she did not come with bangs. I did manipulate the bangs in there. It was all one length and I eventually just kept cutting, cutting until I came up with these bangs. And in fact, I still have to upload the video of how I thinned the bangs too. I did thin them. They were just, I just like them to be a little bit thinner. But I'll give you a 360 while I'm showing you. Right side. Okay, and I'd say I'm wearing her in a headband. Uh, I guess I should start with the hair accessories here first. Um, I did pick up three of these little clippies, these claw clips, which I absolutely love wearing. I pull back the tendrils, and these really work nicely with my wigs. And I also purchased the little ones, the little guys. I think I got 10 of these for a dollar. And I put them in a nice clear tray. They have these beautiful trays there. I have, a, I have several of these that I've purchased throughout the past few weeks to, to, to just hold everything compartmentalize everything for me um okay so i did was uh they did have some they the sunblock is coming out now since spring and summer is coming so i was able to pick up 50 i wear 50 and i was able to pick up a, a, a bottle or tube of that also i picked up suave suave coco shade nourishing lotion i like to keep a, a tube of this near the sink um so when i'm you know cleaning or washing whatever i have this i put this on my hands every time uh, let's see what else when if you did watch the video about me putting on the makeup you saw me use a book to dry my eyeliner so I went down the aisle and they had these beautiful fans and I thought this would look a heck of a lot better than me standing there with this ratty old book doing that and you get a it's a much better airflow so they'll dry probably even quicker so they I thought that was pretty you know I grab one of them um, I did grab some facial wipes I do like these. These are coconut oil and sea salt. And you get 28 of them, 30 of them for a dollar. So I do like, I did like them. And, they, and, and it does work. I Generally, I use two wipes uh, to take off my makeup. So I don't know if the better brands you can get more, you use less. I don't know, but they cost more. So I don't know because I, I usually stick with, with, with these brands. Um, <clears throat> let me see. I also was able to pick up an e.l.f. tinted moisturizer. Again, this will be for the spring and summer, or probably just the summer. I probably won't use this in the spring, um, just to give my face some color and protection, along with the SPF 50. Um, I managed to, I did buy some emery boards. Uh, the only problem I have with these emery boards is that I buy them, and then when I go to use them, they're never where I leave them. Um, they just grow legs. I don't know. I never have emery boards when I need them. Um, I don't know. I always don't know what happens to them. Um, I also bought um, cosmetic wedges. I already opened these up to, sh to show you. Let me rip one off. They're very soft, and I like I like how they feel, and they don't smell. Sometimes when you buy these wedges, um, they have like a, a, a smell to them. These don't. So I really like this this brand at the Dollar Tree. I like I like getting them. 
Um, I also purchased some lipstick. I mean, that I should open these. I'm sorry, I should open these up. Hold on. Please. Okay. This one is. Oh, I should put the tag. This one is Clarity. Clarity. <clears throat> this is an LA. LA Lip Duo, so it is gloss on the bottom, and this is Clarity. This is another one, this will be for the spring or the summer. I like to go lighter in the spring and summer months um, than the darker, the, the darker rose and maroons that I wear. And then this one, this one's not looking so cool right now. This one's a very dark one, huh? I don't know why I picked up this one. I thought it was more grape. This is, this is red. This is red. I don't do red. Not red lipstick. Red wigs, yeah. Nah, I don't do red lipstick. Uh, hmm, well, I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna look on me. All right, you know what? I'll put this on. We're all done. I'll take I'll take my lipstick off and I'll put this on, and you can comment below and let me know. I don't think it's gonna look good. I don't do red. Um, I picked up another comb, another wide tooth comb at the dollar store. <clears throat> can never have enough of these, right? Buy to come with everything. Um, I also found uh, Elf, an eyeliner brow pencil, um, in coffee. And and generally, uh, whenever I'm in the stores and I do look, uh, they usually carry black and brown, black and brown. But you can never find coffee. So I found coffee. So I grabbed that. Um, okay, the lipsticks. Let me move them over. I did buy two more mascaras. Since uh, in my video, I, I showed you how I use three mascaras. I know the YouTubers tell you to use two um, if you wanna really add some volume to your lashes. Um, any two different mascaras will give you those volume that, that you're looking for. Why add a third? My eyelashes, I do have plenty of eyelashes. It's just that they are blonde, as, along with my eyebrows, my hair on my eyebrows, which I still have hair on my eyebrows. That is blonde. So um, I have to add a lot of mascara to make my eyelashes pop, okay? Um, also in the makeup aisle, hard candy. I found hard candy and a dollar. And when I looked this up on Amazon, it was uh, $9.50 for this exact same um, palette. Let me take out the little two, two applicators and a mirror, I'll cover up the mirror. And there is the palette, very pretty. I think it looks very pretty. I can't wait to use that for a dollar. Um, now, if you also see my video about <clears throat> putting on my makeup, I mentioned how in, with one of my wigs, I got free eyelashes. Now, I've never put on eyelashes before like that. So I did go on YouTube, I did glance over it, and I thought, I got this. So I proceeded, me and my husband were going out, I was all dressed, everything's done, and I thought, let me just put these eyelashes on to see, you know, what they look like. Well, one went this way, one went that way, glue everywhere, all over, all over my eyeshadow, and again, I wound up washing my face and starting all over again, and never went back to false eyelashes. Well, one of my subscribers has mentioned that they have the magnetic ones. Now, I haven't bought them yet. I have seen them advertised, like on advertisements. I, never, I haven't seen them in the store, and I have never purchased one yet. But down the uh, Dollar, Gen Dollar Tree aisle, they did have wet and wild, wet and wild lashes. And they look pretty long to me. And they were one of the smaller ones. The lot of them were bigger and thicker. And it comes with the glue. And then next to that was the applicator. Now... When I put on the eye, the only time I put those eyelashes on, I did use my, my fingernails and I did have tweezers and it, it didn't work. So I'm hoping maybe this specially uh, manufactured type of uh, eyelash holder, tweezer, maybe this is what I need it to do a better job. So I'm hoping that I can do it again. And um, I also picked up a, um, a water bottle, another water bottle for spritzing down my wigs. The other water bottle that I had, I, I did put a teaspoon of the silicone mix that I've been using, I purchased from Amazon. And um, I love how this stuff works on the wigs. And what I normally do is I just um, let them all submerge in the water. Um, I don't have the lace fronts in the water. I have that sticking up. 
Um, one of my subscribers said that the silicone could actually loosen the knots in your in your wig. So I heeded her advice and I don't do that. I just let them, the, the, so the scalp part is actually hanging out. I might, I might rub it in real quick and I pull it back out and just have the tendrils hanging, soaking up. In the, uh, a teaspoon of this, and I put it in a big black tub that I bought at the Dollar Tree, and I let them sit, I, I sit, sit in there. And I really like how this stuff works. So if you, if you really have a dry wig or you want to prevent your ends from drying, I highly recommend this. I know a lot of other people, there's other YouTube people out there doing videos on this stuff and they actually show you the befores and the after. And I have done one too, also um, on my uh, Paula Young Gale. And this has really, really revived her ends to the point where I didn't have to trim up or anything on there to you know, revive it. Um, I did also pick it up, pick up um, the uh, microfiber hair wrap. I picked up another one of those, and um, I already have one open with the wig. And when it comes out of the bath, I then I take the towel, and it's a perfect size, and you can drape over it. Put the wig in it, drape over it. It's long enough, there's plenty of room. There it is, all in there. And then you can just cover it all up and squish it, squeeze it gently, excess all the water comes out and you're done. So I did buy another one of those. Okay, um, now what I was thinking about doing is since I bought all this stuff at the Dollar Tree, all this makeup, I'm going to have, uh, maybe next Wednesday I will post it, a get ready with me with Dollar Tree makeup and see how it goes. I can't promise it's gonna look good <laughs> because I'm gonna be you know, rushing to get this done. But I am gonna use the palette that I have here. I have mascara, I have an eyeliner. I don't think I'll put false eyelashes on because I'm going to work and I don't think I should be wearing false eyelashes to work. That's just me personally. So I won't be putting the false eyelashes on. But I, when I do, if I'm, when I do put these on, I will videotape myself doing it just to have a good laugh. I mean, yeah. All right, let me try taking off this lipstick and I will put on this red lipstick and you can let me know what you, what you say, what you think. I don't know. Okay. All right, and here we go. It's red, guys. It's red. Oh, too much out. It smells good. Oh. Oh, this is a mistake. This is a big mistake. Oh my God. <laughs> Gotta laugh at yourself, right? Yeah. All right, let me pat it. Maybe I have too much on. Hold on. Maybe I should just pat this into the tissue. Do I have a tissue? Here's a tissue. Yeah, I'm not a red person. All right, let me put some gloss on it. How's this going? Oh, no, that way. Pull it up. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. I'm definitely not a red person. And I know a lot of people say, don't wear the gloss because the gloss just attracts all the stray ends of the wig. Yeah. Not good. All right. What not to do, don't wear red lipstick. But I kind of already knew that, but I just wanted to show you how my complexion with red does not go. Red hair, yeah. Red lipstick, no. All right, well, um, again, thank you to all your subscribers. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, please let me know whether you like this new idea I have about doing makeup, incorporating that in with the wigs, or do you strictly like the wig reviews uh, and anything pertaining to wigs and not makeup or jewelry or clothing or you know accessories for the wig? Um, just let me know. Let me know. Uh, I'm curious to find out what you think. Um, this is something like I said that you're not interested in watching. Then I'll just stop it. You know, I'm I'm, I'm here to to just show you things that I that I do or that I find interesting myself or that maybe I would watch. And you know, somebody tell me that they found you know. Uh, more expensive uh, makeup at the Dollar Tree that I might find that interesting and might get myself over there to go find out and see if they have it. I generally go to the Dollar Tree at least once a week, um, if not to pick up, you know, Reynolds Wrap or Dawn or Dove Soap, you know, the things that we need, the staples for every, every week. But 
just to see what they have as far as, you know, uh, higher, higher end for me, higher end for me because I usually wear the uh, LA Colors or, or Dollar General or Family Dollar uh, eyeshadows. I don't particularly, I don't, I don't spend this much money on my eyeshadows. My daughter does, I don't. But all right, well, with that, I'm going to say uh, have a great weekend. Um, this is, have a good Friday. Hopefully, you're having a good, good Friday, and uh, be safe out there. God bless, and until next week, thank you, and. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> it's not doing it. There's the blue light. You see the blue light? It's supposed to stop now. Bye.